back to Leaders Recon, where we will discuss leadership, warrior skills, and other opportunities within the Army National Guard. Today, we're covering education benefits, specifically education support programs with a member of the Army National Guard Education Office, Ms. Pulaski. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, how we normally start every episode is we like to get to know our um, subject matter experts. So, we like to start with an interesting fact that when people hear it, it kind of surprises them. So do you, do you have anything like that? Um, so I guess an interesting fact is that uh, I compete, um, I have my dog compete in sports. One is Fast Cat, which is where she runs as fast as she can, chasing after a plastic bag for 100 yards, um, and she runs about 30 miles an hour. And then um, there's weight pull, which is where she just pulls a bunch of weight. Um, and then she does have her own Instagram account, which is, uh, I'm sad to say that she has more followers than me, but hey, um, it is what it is. So you do collaborative posts so you can kind of gain from her audience, right? Yeah, I try to. <laughs> um, so what kind of dog is it? Uh, she's a husky mix. So How old? She's about three years old. Very cool. All right. So you're one of the rarities on our show where normally we dis we interview a lot of military personnel and leaders within the military but you're a contractor i am so it's safe to say that you probably haven't benefited from the education benefits of the national guard but you do work with them a lot yes i do so with the education office what's your position what do you do so I am the social media and marketing uh, coordinator for the education office. Um, I run their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and occasionally post on their YouTube account. Excellent. What um, do you have any common themes or uh, like do you do like a Wisdom Wednesday or something like that? So every month we have a marketing theme based on uh, our programs and every Monday we have a myth busting Monday which is fun because a lot a lot of the myths are some things that soldiers may not know about um, and most of the content that we post out are updates or um, myths like uh, things that people like, may misunderstand yeah. or not know the origin behind it or something like common that common misconceptions about a certain program okay and if we wanted to find the, what's your Instagram handle or Facebook or? So our Instagram handle is uh, ARNG Education. So it's super easy, right. super simple. Absolutely. And then on Facebook, Army National Guard Education Office? Uh, Army National Guard Education Services Branch. But I believe the, uh, like all of our social media, um, if you just look, a look up ARNG Education, it should just pop up. Okay, excellent. So how long, since you work in the education office, what's that experience been like? How long have you been there? How do you like it? Um, so I've been working in the education office for about three years now, um, and it's been a great experience. Uh, I love being able to talk to soldiers uh, when I can. Um, we have haven't really been in the office recently. Um, I started slightly before the pandemic, so a lot of the conversation has been over Teams or phone call. Um, but it's it's real nice because um, there are a lot of different programs that uh, can help soldiers get through uh, school or whatever uh, higher education pathway they choose. Credentialing, assistance, credentialing, it's all that, like there's a lot of stuff going on. So. That leads perfectly into what we're discussing today. So the education support programs, obviously that is an umbrella term to cover a plethora of benefits. So what are some of the benefits that you would like to highlight or um, what, what are some key programs that you like? So there are actually uh, quite a few um, career research tools that soldiers have access to um, where they are able to take assessments and learn which careers best benefit them. Um, one of them being mill gears. Um, basically you just take an assessment based on your uh, lifestyle, your skills, um, and whatever military background you have. Um, and then it'll just kind of spit out uh, careers that you might benefit from and that might interest you. Um, so 
in addition to that, Mel Gears will give you more information about those jobs, uh, like education requirements, pay, um, and possibly um, the outlook on that specific uh, occupation for the future. So with all the programs that are available, obviously what we're trying to do for soldiers is show them what assets the education office can provide. So college is a, a huge undertaking. Um, the hardest parts at the beginning, picking your major, picking your college. Uh, what sort of tools are available to soldiers to help them through that process? So like, I think before you even look into the college that you want to go to, you should probably research the career field that you're um, most interested in. And one of the tools that is available is ONET Online, which is great because it not only shows you uh, careers that have a bright outlook um, and that are in high demand, but there's an option for you to uh, research careers that align with your MOS, um, and that's under the crosswalk. Um, and then once you enter that, um, the website goes more in depth on those uh, careers, um, showing you the median pay, um, the outlook, uh, education requirements. And I really feel like that's a great first step uh, if you're trying to um, research your career before researching college. So with all the programs that we have, is there any cost to soldiers or these are normally um, not free to non-military members, right? Like these are perks that just uniform personnel get? Yeah, some of the tools are real perks um, to uniform service members, uh, especially tutor.com. Um, you can go to tutor.com slash military, um, and that's really helpful. I know uh, the pandemic has really affected families with children because uh, obviously you have your own job and teaching your kid uh, first grade math isn't something that you planned. So tutor.com is free to service members and their family, which is nice. Um, and it's got, um, it offers homework help, actual tutoring, essay reviews, um, and they have tutors from pre-K to college courses. Um, I believe they actually offer resume writing help too. So it's not just um, schooling help. So all these programs, I'm sure people want to know how to get to them. So like we've heard a lot about MW Library, or MWR Library, excuse me. Uh, how do you get to that? And where can we find all these links? And like, are there like educational pamphlets and flyers and stuff? Where do we find all this stuff? So if you go to nationalguard.com slash education, all of our information on the programs, um, these online tools are located on there um, along with flyers and even our education handbook. Um, so once you go there, uh, I guess the tab that you're looking for is the education support programs, which has all of these online tools listed um, there for easy access. Okay, and then military, or uh, excuse me, yeah, one source gets you to the li MWR library? Yes, military one source will get you to the MWR library, and I believe it is also located on um, nationalguard.com slash education, so yeah. Excellent. So with everything that is available, you mentioned tutor.com, but I just wanted to dive a little bit more into that as far as are these aren't green suitors, right? These are civilians who are like coming out of the industry and they're like, well, they're experts, right? Yes, so. they are all experts. They're likely teachers in that specific subject or just know the subject uh, real well. I believe tutor.com does um, interview them and make sure that they know their stuff. Um, and what's great about tutor.com is that it's available 24 seven. So whether you're up at like midnight trying to cram for a test or up at the crack of dawn, like they're there to help you. Now that we've covered all the uh, education benefits, um, I'd like to ask uh, how we normally wrap up the show. Like if you could go back 10 years and give yourself a piece of advice, what would that be? I guess the best piece of advice would be that there's no one way to get an education. And if I could go back, honestly, I would probably 
go the military route because student loans are they're real sometimes. <laughs> they, they are real so so if you were if you were speaking to junior soldiers um what would you tell them as far as education benefits like are there any tips or tricks for navigating everything or uh, like be patient with the process or something like that definitely be patient with the process but like make use of it save your money you know okay excellent well we appreciate you being on the show and sharing all of your knowledge with us so we look forward to learning more so thank you so much thanks for having me if you would like more information on any of the topics that we discussed today please visit our social media pages in the links below if you liked today's episode, please don't forget to subscribe and leave us a five-star review. You can find us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.